do you want to class for social studies? In this video, you are going to learn about chapter 3 that is water lesson. This is your part 2 video. In the first video, uh, first session, we have learned about the sources of water. So, which is the main source of water, children? Yes, that is rain. Is it? Then, you have learned uh, what is the surface water and ground water. So, I think it's clear uh, about the uh, sources of water. In this session, we are going to learn about the methods of irrigation. So, what are the methods of irrigation? You know children, uh, in agriculture is the main occupation of the people throughout the world. So, farmers need water for the agriculture. Is it? And in India, you know the distribution of water is not the or rain is not the same. In the earlier session only I have explained. So that rainfall is not same in all the states or in all the places. So farmers require more water for the irrigation purpose. So what they will do? During the rainy season they will store the water. And this water is used for irrigation even in the dry seasons like summer. So what they will do? Which are the methods of storing water? First one, scanners, tanks, tube wells, wells and dams. These are the methods of irrigation through which the water is used for the agriculture. So let's study these all in detail now. First is canals. So what is the meaning of canal children? Water from the rivers is brought to the surface by digging small channels from the rivers. These are called canals. So what happens? Uh, when it rains, the water is collected in the uh, uh, places where we have rivers. You know rivers are the major source of water. Is it? So when it collects in the rivers, that water is brought to the field through some uh, by digging some channels. Channels means what? They will make way for the rain water to move. So, wherever rivers are there, there only we can build the canals. Children. First, you keep in mind, wherever rivers are there, there only it is possible to build the canals. I will show you the picture of canal now. And you can see that this red river water is brought through these channels to the fields. Water from the rivers is brought to the fields by uh, digging small channels. And this river water is sent to the fields where farmers utilize it for growing the crops. So now the question is how these uh, canals are uh, fed to the water. So how do you get water? So what happens when it rains? That water is collected in artificial reservoir. Sometimes what happens when it rains? That artificial reservoir means they build wall across the river to make that water to stand there itself. They will not allow the water to move further. So they will store the water, collect the water, rain water in the artificial reservoir. That's called as dam. And they will have sluice gates. I will show the picture here. You will find that it is having sluice gates. It is called as sluice gates. Yes, yes, you might see sluice gates. Control the flow of water. So, children, 
Such kind of borewells are done 
mostly in south india we find more of this wells even in all the places now most of the places in india you find wells for the use of uh, domestic use we get water from this is it okay this is all about the wells children now let's see the dams children so dams are very important role for in irrigation how dams are used to generate electricity called tidal power or hydroelectricity so using dams we can generate hydroelectricity which is used in our houses so next dams are used to control floods to control floods dams are very useful i said in the areas uh, uh, part that artificial reservoirs are built means walls are built across the river where it controls the floods and there are sluice gates which will control the flow of the water so through this you can control the floods then they help in fish breeding most of the places where you find uh, dams there fish breeding is done this is how it is also called as a multi purpose use so dams are used for multi purpose means more uses are there of dams so we call it as multi purpose projects and some of the important dams of uh, hydroelectric uh, where hydroelectricity hydroelectric projects are there there are first one is bhakra nagar dam which is built across the satluj river these are uh, i said it is used for generating hydroelectricity where we find this hydroelectric project are on the bhakra nagar dam which is built across the satluj river this is the asia's second highest dam measuring 740 feet in height i'll show the picture where you see this bhakra nagar dam this is the asia's second highest a uh, uh, dam which is having the height of 740 feet which is built on the river satluj so this is also called uh, this reservoir is also called as gobind sagar which is the second largest uh, reservoir in india then uh, the other project is damodar valley project it is also built across the river damodar in bihar it was initially constructed to control the uh, floods for uh, control the floods for irrigation power generation and transmission of electricity for the states of bihar and west bengal so damodar valley project this is done most uh, for the use of to control the floods and for the use of irrigation and for the power generation and transmission of electricity for the states of bihar and west bengal damodar valley project is another hydroelectric project children then you have sardar sardar sarovar dam this is built across the river narmada in gujarat the dam irrigates draft drone areas of kutch and saurashtra draft drone means where you find the very less rainfall so in such places this sardar sarovar dam is built across the river narmada and which will provide water for the irrigation nagarjun sagar is another hydroelectric project which is built across the river krishna in andhra pradesh so first one is bakra nagar then sir damodar valley project then third one is sardar sarovar dam which is built across the narmada river in gujarat and this also helps for the irrigation the next one is nagarjun sagar dam this is uh, built across the river krishna in andhra pradesh this is the largest dam in the world built using stone and bricks which were nagarjun sagar dam this is the world's largest dam which has used stones and bricks to build it the dam provides water for irrigation to few districts in andhra pradesh so this 
Nagarjun Sagar Dam provides water for in the place of Andhra Pradesh. Hirapur Dam is built across the river Mahanadi in Odisha. It is one of the world's longest earthen dam. So, Hirapur Dam is the world's longest earthen dam. So, you find first one Bakranangal, which is the Asia's second largest. Uh, Bakranangal, which is the second highest dam. Then you have Nagarjun Sagar Dam, which is built across the uh, Krishna River. This is the largest dam in the world, built using stone and bricks. Then you have Hirapur Dam, which is the world's longest earthen dam. So, these are the dams which are providing electricity and which control floods in our country. So, these are the major hydroelectric projects. This is so, children, canals, tanks, tube wells, wells and dams. These are also known as means of irrigation through which we can transport water to the fields for the purpose of irrigation. So you can also say it means of irrigation. Electric projects. This is all about the water lesson. I hope it's clear children. We will meet in the next session. Till then take care. Thank you.